What is up, Hardy? So welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about clogged milk ducts. Although this is my third pregnancy, this is probably the first time this has ever happened to me. And I don't ever want it to happen to me again. And I want that if it happens to you, that you know exactly how to get rid of it. So I am going to share with you my experience and then um, I'll share with you the solution. Very quick video. If that's something you're interested in, stay tuned. Okay, so as y'all know, I am um, nursing. Um, yes, I do bottles if um, I'm not around, if I have to go to the office or something, I do bottles, but for the most part, I am no nursing true all the way now um i woke up this more uh one morning and no i it wasn't i woke up so that day i worked right and i came home and usually when i work in the office i come home and i pump out some of the milk they're swollen really bad um i tried to pump out some at work uh, but if I could withstand the pain, I wait until I get home and then I pump out some of the milk and I store it. So I came home and, or sometimes I like feed the baby right away so that I could have some kind of release. At least one boob could have some kind of release, okay? So I go ahead and I nurse him and I notice like um he like fussy like I'm nursing him but he's still fussing and usually if I'm nursing him he just drinks the milk and then you know <laughs> he's good but I noticed like he was like extremely fussy so I'm like what is wrong with him why is he drinking the milk so I switch and I put him on the right one. So then he drank the milk and he was fine and I put him to sleep or whatever. So then I went ahead to like pump the milk out from the left one, right? To try get some of the milk out since I couldn't get to nurse him on that side. So when I try to get the milk out, the milk ain't even trying to come out like it barely barely coming out but it's like swollen like it busted okay it's like sw swollen so i'm like why isn't why isn't the milk coming out that's so weird like that never happened before so i'm like okay um i need to do something so i go i get something warm uh i put something warm on top of it and then I tried to get some of the milk out. So some of the milk started to flow a little bit. Um, so I ended up got, getting like a good two ounces of milk out. So I'm like, okay, that's not usually how much milk will come out. Usually I would get a good four ounces of milk out, but only two ounces came out. So I'm like, okay, so I should have a little release, right? But then I realized like this really big lump, like this lump, like a lump and i'm like oh a lump that's not good <laughs> you know like lumps <laughs> is not good so i'm like again all scared I'm, I'm panicking so i'm like lump oh man i need to i need to go to the doctor oh no is this what is this so i go and i look it up and i'm like what's going on what's this big lump and then i realize it is <laughs> clogged milk ducts okay clogged milk ducts this feeling is so uncomfortable so annoying and so bad <laughs> i don't want any anybody to have to go through this because it's the worst not only is your baby frustrated because they can't get the milk out of it but you're gonna be frustrated because you can't get the milk out of it like how you need to get the milk out of it nonetheless i have a solution and if you're a nursing mom or you plan on nursing or you pregnant you plan on nursing 
you need this breast pump in your life if you don't have it in your life you need it in your life because it is like the best emergency um pump ever okay so that's the haka breast pump i did give a review on it sometime back so i'll leave a link to that video so that y'all could check it out um exactly how to use it uh i demonstrate exactly how to use it um what it's all about so definitely go and check it out and it's only like 12 bucks or 10 bucks or 11 bucks or 10 bucks something like that it's cheap okay super cheap so if you don't have that you definitely need to get it and have it in hand so this thing works like a charm okay so i went ahead i took it i put some warm water in it like i warmed the water on a stove i know it, i didn't warm it hot i warm it like warm warm enough to touch it okay so i warmed the water really good and then I put it in the pump and then i added some epsom salt Don't be adding no regular salt, okay? Because regular salt is not going to cut it. I, I did try it out. It didn't cut it at all. So I recommend Epsom salt. I don't know what kind of magic hocus pocus in Epsom salt. Epsom salt, it worked, okay? So I put the Epsom salt in there. And you put the tatas in the cup. I don't know how to demonstrate it. Nonetheless, just imagine the same way you would put your stuff in the pump same thing so you putting your stuff in a pump with the warm water and the epsom salt in there and you doing the pumping motion yeah you doing the pumping motion sometimes you'll see some milk coming out of there you keep doing the pumping motion i know it's it's a pain in the butt i know it's like oh my gosh i wasted my milk it's okay you are trying to unclog the ducts okay that's the goal to unclog the ducts so you go ahead, you do the pumping motion, you do the pumping motion until you feel some kind of release. Like you'll feel like they like squishy, they like soft. Uh, once you feel that way, then you could stop. So it's recommended probably like 10 to 15 minutes. You do that and it works. It works, okay? The next thing I recommend is massage like you could get your partner involved get your partner to give you a nice little massage go in there and massage it especially the area that is swollen so go in there and massage it and that works too <laughs> okay but i recommend the epsom salt and the pump i recommend those because those work the best those are most effective now you're wondering why 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 did i get milk my milk ducts clogged like why did that happen so one of the major causes is like infrequent nursing so like i said that day i went into the office so i wasn't nursing him as often as i usually nurse him um so that probably caused it and also other things cause it like if you have crack um crack that word i don't want my my uh, video to be demonetized so if you have crack that if you have if you have crack tetes if you have um stress if you're sleepy uh if you smoking all of these stuff can cause it okay so that's the solution and if you're struggling with this i hope you try this and it works for you now if you don't have the hacker and right now this is your current situation use a cup 
okay use a cup so the only difference is you don't have the pump so the cup you can't pump the cup right so you are going to take one hand and like squeeze the tetes and get the milk out it, since you don't have a pump but you would do the same thing you would put the warm water in the cup and you would put the epsom salt in the cup and just put it over the tete okay and then that's it it'll still work it'll still work you could even like soak them in there and that'll work too <laughs> So yeah, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and click that subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.